Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Today we'll be stepping further into the exciting world of blockchain technology. Please don't be scared off by the fact that it may get a little technical. Uh, we will explain it as simple as possible and are sure you will understand everything well. If you still have any questions or queries, you can always contact us on our social media channels and we'll try to help you further. In simple terms, a blockchain is like a digital ledger or registry that records transactions in a transparent, verifiable and permanent way. It's like a chain of clear blocks where each block or link contains a list of transactions. Once a block is filled with transactions, a new one is created and added, forming this chain of blocks, hence the term blockchain. Each block in this chain is like a page in a ledger, each documenting different transactions. The totality of these pages forms the comprehensive book of transactions, not unlike the ledger books that banks use to record in financial transactions. In the traditional financial system, banks are trusted with managing these ledgers. They are responsible for guaranteeing security, keeping the ledgers safe and ensuring the integrity of each transaction. However, the system is centralized with a single entity, the bank, controlling all of the information. Blockchain technology introduces a revolutionary shift from this model. Instead of being held in a single place, like a bank, the book of transactions is distributed across a full network of computers or nodes, each housing a complete copy of the blockchain. And this leads us to one incredible characteristic of blockchains, decentralization, which is a fundamental principle of blockchain technology. It ensures no single entity can control the information within the system. Rather, a distributed network of computers or nodes collectively validates and records all the transactions. We know in our very centralized world, the term decentralization might be new to you. You are not alone with that, but maybe try imagine a decentralization in terms of a bee colony. No one bee controls the entire hive. Every bee has a role to play from foraging for nectar to caring for the brood or protecting the hive. Even if a few bees were to disappear, the hive would continue to function effectively due to the collective efforts of the remaining bees. Each bee represents a node in the blockchain network, performing its tasks independently, but contributing to the overall operation of the system. This is the fascinating essence of decentralization. It is providing a resilient, transparent, and completely trustworthy system for recording transactions. When it comes to security, each block is interlinked to the ones before and after it, forging an unbreakable and tamper-resistant chain. You cannot just change one part of the chain because the other network participants are constantly observing that everything is in order. Of course, this is done automatically. Did you know this incredible fact? Blockchain technology also provides unprecedented transparency as the blockchain is decentralized and distributed, anyone within the network can review the transaction history. It's like a public library where all books are available for everyone to read. Contrary to a library, however, once information is inscribed onto the blockchain, it becomes immutable, meaning that it can't be modified or erased. This solidifies blockchain as a source of truth, offering a clear, auditable trail of all transactions. This was just a small introduction to blockchain technology. Always remember that the acquisition of new knowledge is a journey, not a race. Each step, no matter how small, brings you closer to your destination. So keep going. And as always, we want to encourage you to seek dialogue with us in case there is anything unclear. We are always happy to hear from you on our social media channels. Please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for joining us this lesson and see you in our next one.